I can't. I'm. I'm guess. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more? Okay, since we're doing Golden Deer, I figured we should, you know, take a look at everyone, get everyone's backstories, understand everyone. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other, little by little. Okay. <laughs> he's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. He looks like he's going to be our uh, holy knight. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Actually, that's about it. Tank. Clearly. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Looks more like our bowman. I've seen people use him as a bowman. Scythia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out. She gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Hey, our uh, attack mage, black mage. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. She's got a lot of strengths. Um, hmm. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Kind of want to make her a tank, too. That'd be kind of funny. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. See, she seems more like a lance on a spear user. All right. Let's, uh... I think I got a good... You know, expectation in my mind of what, of what I want people to be. So this will be cool. I think he's got a cool, uh... Cool group of students. But in my heart, I will always, um... Love Black Eagles. So. Wait, what? Are you really our new homeroom professor? Is that true? You aren't quite what I had pictured. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I was sure you'd be roped into joining the Knights. Don't tell me. You chose this class just to get to know me better, right? I'm flattered, really. <laughs> Whoops. Now that you're our professor, maybe I should choose my words more carefully. And that's right. B no, I'm joking. I don't mind. There's no other option. I do mind. Since we're pretty close in age and all. I suppose formalities aren't all that necessary. I guess not really. One must truly marvel at the exceptionality of this appointment. Becoming a teacher to students almost the same age as yourself. How unusual. I've heard you are a skilled mercenary, but I cannot shake my discomfort at your new position. Are you really as strong as they say? Let's see your biceps. I bet I packed on more muscle than you. I doubt that. Apparently, our new professor was personally recommended by Alois, one of the knights. As far as skill goes, I saw it with my own eyes. What's more, Teach here is the child of the most renowned former captain of the Knights of Saros. I heard. There's no way a child of the captain isn't worthy. It's simply not possible. The captain? Who are you talking about? Captain Geralt, of course. The most notable captain of the Knights of Saros and a peerless mercenary. It doesn't matter what you think of him. Captain Gerald oh, but respect. <laughs> Felt attacked right there. Well, after working as a mercenary alongside a father figure such as he, I have high hopes for our professor. Just because someone is special doesn't mean their children are special too, Lysithia. 
Assuming that a child is going to be exceptional just because of their lineage is a bad idea. Don't you agree, Marianne? Huh? Oh, um, yes, I suppose so. Well, we can find out for ourselves. Her voice battle. is very I can't uh, wait to see what calming. tactics you've learned from the captain. A battle? Shouldn't we have a welcome party or something first? I'll get the meat. How savage. I propose a nice conversation over tea instead. No, meat. 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 Tea? You can't get to know someone over tea. There's no meat involved. It's not a party. Your common sensibilities are grating to my noble ears. Oh my Please gosh, dude. Yourself. I hate Sorry, Vickery Teach. As you can see, the Golden Deer House is a rowdy bunch. We're not especially unified. You'll find nobles and commoners alike here. Those who are dedicated to their studies alongside slackers. But hey, that just makes your life more exciting, right? I really hope you're looking forward to the year ahead as much as I am. Time for a mock battle, eh? Hmm. How should we go about this? Well, you'll be our commander, that much is for sure. Just don't screw it up and everything will be great. Got it, Teach? Right, I'll do whatever I can to help too. I mean, I'm kind of obligated to. For example, if I add a little something to their food to upset their stomach. <laughs> Wait, no, no. Yeah, yeah, wink, wink. I, I want to definitely do it. You can't officially condone that sort of thing, right? Oh, I can. But say, hypothetically speaking, students from the other houses started racing to the infirmary. As far as anyone knows, it could just be a harmless little stomach bug making the rounds. This guy's a genius. Well, well, what a fascinating conversation you two are having. May we join? No. Lord. I can't believe you would stoop to such crooked schemes to gain the advantage. Frick, they heard. Have you no honor? Honor doesn't matter. If that was really my scheme, I wouldn't be talking about it out in the open. I'm afraid you'll have to wait until our battle to see what's really in store. It's irrelevant anyhow. Whatever you have planned won't save you from a crushing defeat. She has a point. <coughs> Flame Emperor! Still, I'm rather eager to see what sort of scheme oh, spoiler that spoiler alert. conjures up. I think I'm supposed you to say that before. Teach. We can't let these fine folks down. Are you serious, Teach? Well, if a crooked scheme is really what you're after, I've got more than a few of those up my sleeve. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. I'm sorry, professors. It's about time I return to my training anyway. Claude, Edelgard, until we meet again on the battlefield, farewell. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. My thank you so much! So much. I have All right, here we go. So, this is the stage for the mock battle. The command's all yours, Teach. <laughs> I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing. Mm -hmm. Stay focused. So, hey, I remember last time we were in the trees and we had a better position. So, I would like to understand why we are not in that position as of now. Ready and willing. I will fight on the front lines. I can stop the enemy's advance with grace. Do you have Lady Edelgard's permission to... I suppose I've no choice but to provide cover. Thank you, Hubert. <sighs> We are off to a terrible start. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, your highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you, Mercedes? Keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh my. We'll try our best. <laughs> oh 
I'm boy Fern. How could you betray me like this? Wait, who's my who's my healer? Why do you have a lance? You're not the healer. What are you? I swear your strengths were something else. Okay, I, I figured I'm gotta spread it out. Here. I'm in the mindset right now that I'm playing like against really hard people. You're my healer, right? Yeah, okay. I don't like you, and I might just kill you so I don't have to deal with you. Is that okay? My boy Fern is just insane. Oh my gosh. I really am gonna hate this guy. Thank you. I, I'm just, I guess I should be glad he's not a healer. Hmm. You are performing as expected, Professor. Oh my gosh. Hubert is a freaking god. Hey, I gotta get other people a chance here. Hey, you can't even reach, so it doesn't matter. This is on hard mode, I gotta realize that. You can't just go willy-nilly. Okay, I feel like with these guys, I actually can't make- well, it's also in hard mode, so let's just chill out over here. We will use the forest to ambush our enemy. Freaking flying. If they're waiting. <laughs> Much needed. How many heals do I get? Five? Yeah, they can't do anything. Who? Me? Okay, here we go. Three? Really? Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, I need you to get the kill, so I'm gonna have Stray take the- Why can't you guys kill this little wall? Sixty-eight percent chance. You got it. Losing to shock was your intention. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't mean to skip it. I really didn't. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just do this. They're going after Hilda. I th think they have the advantage right now, so we're gonna let them attack first. We're gonna. Oh wow! I killed my broya. I, I just called him my bro. I am so disgusted with myself. Sucks. Ouch. Thea. Thea, Thea, Thea. Watch and learn, Thea. Wait, she has a throwing hat? She has a hand axe. Wait, Claude's actually dead now. Holy crap. 
Cloud is actually dead. Alright, hold on, can you attack from back here? It's not the way you get hurt. Hey. How do you say your name, Maria? Marianne? Is it Mary? It's not Marianne. How do you say it? There's got to be a different way to say it. Oh, I got one more heal, dude. Well done. You know I gotta level up these guys first. This gives XP, so we're just gonna hit it. It's your call. Okay. Let's take out her. Okay, who's... Wow, how are you guys still level 1? I'm out of fields, right? Yeah. Hey, you have turned into an offensive unit. Yeah. Um, we're gonna stay together here. Are you gonna move? Beautiful work, Professor. Really? Ooh, they move. Okay, that's like good but bad. Dimitri can't reach me. Oh my gosh, to do. Why are you so freaking tanky, dude? Okay, well, this is the best move here. Exactly why that was the best move because I knew he was gonna miss. Uh, it's sit right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ouch. That tickled. Hey, okay, um, you do need some freaking XP, but the thing is, you just can't attack anyone. Ready and willing. You're level two, but I want you to be more. Okay, let's have Claude strike him down a bit. Oh my, oh, okay. Well, we gotta get rid of one of them, unfortunately, otherwise it's gonna hurt. Oh my gosh. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. You're a tough opponent. Please, no. Like, don't do this to me, dude. Don't do this to me. Okay. 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 <laughs> Oh my gosh, Dimitri's a freaking tank. I can't do this. Whoa. You do quite a bit of damage, my friend. Do not miss 45% chance to hit. Uh I believe Oh my gosh Dude If we miss this it, it's actually over. Actually hold up. 
I, I can't take the chance. We need to do that. And then... Wait, no, our girl... I can't let our girl die. I can't... Hey, <laughs> cutie, what is this game? Oh, sorry, dude. What the heck? My chat's in the wrong spot. I'm so sorry. What's up, bros? What is this game about is a better question. Sorry, dude. I did not see you freaking there. My chat was in the wrong spot. Um, it's just Fire Emblem. There's It's a choice-based story game, strategy game. It's really fun, especially the story. Okay, the thing is, though, like, we need to kill Dudu. In 77, I believe. I believe, Claude. Claude? So, uh, on my YouTube channel, if you want to watch the Black Eagle story, although I started like midway because I, did, I didn't realize people actually wanted it on YouTube. Um, we finished Black Eagle's story, and now we're doing Golden Deer. And then next we'll do Blue Lions. And then I also have a secret series coming up for Fire Emblem. Oh my gosh! I care less about you, man. I never liked you. Why can they hit twice? Why are they so OP? Okay, um... Stay focused. You know, I'm okay with Professor being OP. Hey, and thanks for the follow, by the way. Holy crap, I'm so sorry I missed all this. My training was... Okay. Oh, right, wait, wait, there's still one more person. Totally forgot about him. <laughs> There's no point in using it. So in hard mode, healers are going to be the way to go. So we're actually going to make our professor more of a healer. Okay, we need to draw him now. Yeah, go right there. That was a cool spell. What the frick? I've never seen that. Someone with actual battle experience is... Well, I was as good as useless. That is that. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Golden Deer House. Great work, everyone. Even if it's just a mock battle, the taste of victory is sugary sweet. Oh, yeah. Work, Teach. That was a brilliant win. Uh, playing ignorant as to the quality of your command and deflecting the praise to your students. You really are a model professor, Teach. Is on to, to me. To be honest, I had a bunch of other schemes planned as well, just in case the situation called for it. But I didn't have to Did resort to any of them. I suppose our opponents lucked out. Well, oh, jeez, dude. The breadth of it's your a freaking cult. Full display today. I must admit that your tactics were masterful. I shudder to think what may have transpired had it been Claude leading us into battle. I noticed that too. We just did what you told us, and we won. I love it. As expected from a child of the former captain of the knights. Thank you for today, Professor. I have much to consider. I never doubted that our professor would be amazing. It was way too obvious. Don't you agree, Marianne? Marianne, okay. Uh, me? Hello, Mary. Um, yes, of course. Well done, Professor. Captain Gerald taught his child well. It would have been more of a surprise had our professor proved lacking. Don't you think it's a bit harsh to give Gerald all of the credit, Leonie? In any case, it's clear that we only won because of our new mentor's guidance. A mercenary's wisdom and techniques are forged in battle. Those are the sorts of things you can only learn through experience. Right, Teach? 
But more importantly, it's time to celebrate our victory. Teach here has yet to try my well-renowned home cooking. I really do hope you'll join us. After all, I swiped some finely aged cheese from the dining hall for just this occasion. I like cloth. Beef. Oh, what's going on with my green screen? Your work with the students was remarkable. I'm sorry. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. <laughs> I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. <laughs> Sounds like she like ran off. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Dan Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless. Edelgard. By something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to. Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. I like how there's subtle hints that it's Edelgard. Like, the way she talks is very formal, the way he talks is kind of formal, but like they hit it kind of well. But then again, you could just chalk it up to everyone talks like formally like this. Part 1 White Clouds, Harpstring Moon, Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander.
As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. More bandits. Not very original, Teach. Well, as long as you're with us, at least things won't be boring. In fact, it may take a turn for the interesting. And with that, I take my leave to make my final preparations. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Well, I didn't expect it would be easy on you. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. It seems I was right to worry. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now, but don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. Is Annette on my team? I don't think she is. Just in case. Thank you. She's not. <sighs> Alright guys, hey! First mission done. Awesome. Golden Deer. There we go. Another long Fire Emblem video. Beautiful. Alright. Next one coming soon.